Jeremy, and uh, I like to read. And generally, I can tell by the response that people walk through my door and look at my bookshelf whether we're going to be friends or not. It's either, oh, what a lot of books, or, oh, that's really interesting, I love that book. And uh, I hope to connect with you on that level, and you don't have to come into my room. I've built a, um, an online book, book uh, cataloging application called BookTagger, booktagger.com. And uh, you can go and track the books that you've read in real life or that you have in the bookshop, and you can share them with your friends and your family. Now I want to talk about the Australian book industry. It's actually the envy of the world. Um, we're one of the highest per capita reader nations, and uh, it's a $1.2 billion industry. Over 63 million books were sold last year, and the market is growing. Uh, online purchasing habits for, for consumers in general, books are the number one bought item on the internet, period. And uh, the referrals for that are social recommendations, not search engines. And search versus community. It's all about who knows you and how they can make those recommendations. And that's where, sorry Google, um, Google search cannot be customized enough to really get into you and, and know what you want to read. So why do we love Amazon? What is our fascination? And I think part of it is this a lack of innovation in the book industry in Australia. And we'll talk about some of the things that are the major benefits and drivers for the online consumer in, in, on Amazon. 50% of Amazon sales are driven by recommendation. So if you've read that book and somebody's read it in another book, they do algorithms in the background that kind of match things up and make it a really um, intuitive interface to explore books in different genres. Just a group, insane good reviews. For a big crystal ballpoint pen, if you look it up, 180 customer reviews, and some of them are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> it's scary the time people have. And also I would say they've got an excellent range, and if you've ever been to the Stockholm Library, uh, it's a beautiful picture. And that's in Sweden. <laughs> So Amazon, we love Amazon because they lose money when they sell you a book. Amazon sold 2.5 million copies of Harry Potter, and we'll forgive them for that, and uh, they lost money on every single one. And why can they do that? It's because they've got everything and the kitchen sink. They hope you go and buy Harry Potter and wind up with buying a refrigerator, or maybe a car, or a sink, and that's how they make their money. Which is a little bit unfair if you look at the book industry in Australia. And the other thing you look at affiliate systems. They reward you for telling your friends. And they do it better than any affiliate system in Australia. Basically, you can create your own web widgets or advertisements and put them on your own social networks and tell your friends and they reward you 6 to 8%. And because of that, we lose Australia, that is, the industry, 40 to 80, $80 million in sales to um, Amazon which is far larger than most of the other online destinations for bookstores. And what about Amazon in Australia? Well, can't find it, sorry. That's the message that you'll get if you use Firefox. And it, it's, um, it's a something block. But why don't they come here? It's because they don't have to. Because they're the number one seller. But don't be tricked. They're really great at tricking people. And that's because, if you look at that price, Amazon UK, $10. It's um, the cheapest, but their delivery costs are $17. Compound that with the Australian to US dollar, and uh, it's much cheaper sometimes to buy locally. And also, the Kindle, everybody loves the Kindle. We can't buy, get it in Australia, and you have to have a US credit card to buy the books that you can read on. So there needs to be innovation in the Australian industry. So what are some of the other alternatives? Well, there's Book Tagger, but we don't sell books. We just let you catalog them. And people are, it's practically quite whispered quiet, but we've got 90,000 books that have been cataloged and 7,000 members in the last year. Um, E-books were sold, uh, starting to be sold by Demix last year. Um, I'll check out booko.com if you want to check out the price comparison. They wrote an engine a couple of weeks ago that basically takes you through all these other websites I've listed beside orders because they don't actually sell books in Australia online. Um, and so, this picture is actually, I scabbed off the internet and found out that it was from one of the other presenters. So I thought that was a really notable thing to say. Um, but really it's about you. And that's what the industry needs to figure out in Australia, is your recommendations count. And it's a story of David and Goliath. And at the moment, Amazon is Goliath, but they can get lazy. They can start taking off some of their armor and start paying attention to APIs instead of sales. 
and that's where I think we can win.